While it's incredibly important that world leaders take strong action to address climate change and environmental sustainability, we can't leave it all to them. We need action at every level of society. Transition Streets brings neighbours together to explore how they can reduce their environmental impact while building a more connected neighbourhood. Although Transition Streets is a program, it's also an attitude and a way of living. In this slideshow, we want to share some of what's happening in a local Newcastle street. That's Newcastle, Australia, not the UK. Transition Streets as a program involves a practical workbook which provides a basis for discussion about energy, water, food, transport and consumption and waste. Each chapter includes background information, ideas for action, ways to involve children, fun, thought-provoking challenges, and suggested other resources. The thought-provoking challenges highlight how we take many resources and the environment for granted. In our house, when we looked at water, we turned off all the taps for a day and lived on one ten litre bucket of water for each person. We used the same water for having a wash, then doing some hand washing, and then it was used to flush the toilet. It made us realise how much water we waste. At the heart of Transition Streets is building community and streets are encouraged to think about how they can build connections. In our street we ate together, rode to the local farmers markets as a group and started cooking afternoons where the adults try out some new recipes or make a big batch of chutney to share. And us kids made something yummy for afternoon tea. Being a transition street doesn't just rely on a workbook. The most important thing is neighbours coming together who want to make a difference. In many ways, transition streets in our street started with the kids' veggies on the verge which we were inspired to start while helping to write the Newcastle version of the Transition Streets workbook. But we'll let some of the kids involved tell the story. We started the garden a couple of years ago by inviting any kids we knew of in the street and their parents to join us for a working bee one weekend. So one Saturday, 14 kids and nine parents started work on our six metre wide nature strip. Some of us went to the local farmers market the next morning to choose some vegetable and herd seedlings and we were able to plant them that afternoon. It was a fun weekend. We learned to use various tools, including an electric drill. We moved lots of dirt and planted in mulch. Even though we did a lot of work, there was also lots of time to play. We even made a game of chasey by putting down some wooden steps in the garden. If we were caught, we had to fix two of the steps. It's great being able to get fresh herbs and veggies from the garden. But the best thing has been getting to know the other kids in the street. Many of us didn't know each other or hadn't even met because we go to six different schools. We've had a couple of sleepovers. One of them in a large tent in the neighbour's backyard. Two chicken burger nights with produce from the garden. A cooking day. A street garage sale. And a market stall. For the first burger night, we even formed a little band, the Pop Plants, and performed From Little Things, Big Things Grow. Hunter Organics had a field trip to visit the garden. And we told them all about kids' veggies on the verge. Two years down the track, us kids don't really do all that much work in the garden but we still play together. The garden also helps the adults get to know each other and it can be quite a meeting place. It really has made a big difference in our street. Although environmental sustainability was not the main motivation for the kids, nor for all the adults, everybody wanted to help build community in the street. Resilient communities have strong connections, support each other, and are inclusive and focus on what they have, not what they don't have. An important aim of Transition Streets is to help build resilient communities 
with neighbours able to support each other, particularly in times of need. When small groups of people come together, sometimes amazing things can happen. Transition streets started in Totnes, England, and there are now transition streets around the world. If you do an internet search for transition streets, the UK and US sites have lots of information that could help you set up a group for yourself. It's well worth the journey.